Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play this song Back to Life by Bethel Music. And I'm only going to show you guys one way how to play it, and that requires the use of a capo. If you guys need a capo, check out the links down below. You can buy one that's best for you. But if we haven't met before, my name is Andrew. I'm a worship leader at my local church. On this channel, you'll find a lot of worship leading tips and tutorials. If that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit the like button for this video and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. I'll help out the channel so much. If you guys have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But otherwise, guys, let's get right into the lesson for Back to Life by Bethel. Alright guys, so Back to Life by Bethel is originally in the key of B. The tempo is 72.5 beats per minute and the time signature is 4-4. And like I mentioned before, we're going to use a capo for this lesson, but before I show you where to put the capo and what chords to play, I want to show you the strumming pattern first. The strumming pattern that we can use will remain consistent throughout the whole song and we don't have to switch it out with the different parts of the song. The strumming pattern that we'll use will go something like this. It's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. That strumming pattern again will be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And what I'll do with the strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. If the strumming pattern is pretty difficult for you, no worries, just keep practicing it, rewind the video if you have to, or come back to the video if you have to, and you'll get it. So now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you where we're going to put our capo and what chords to play. So we're going to take our capo and place it on the 4th fret of the guitar and play our key of G chords. And throughout the whole song, we're only going to use 4 chords within the key of G. We'll play the following chords for the whole song. It's going to be a G chord. D. E minor or E minor 7 and then C or C at 9 so to start off the song Befa actually plays the chorus they sing and play the chorus so we're going to play that part first we're going to use the following chord progression it's going to be a C G D and E minor. And we're going to play that chord progression a total of three times, but on the last line, we're going to play some other chords. We're going to play C, D, and G. So the chorus will go something like this. No longer I who lives. So then after the chorus, they're going to go straight into the first verse. And for the first verse, we will play a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be G. D. C. And then back to G. And we're going to play that chord progression once for the verse. The verse will sound something like this. I won't forget the moment I heard you call my name Just like Lazarus You brought me back to life So 
So then after verse 1, we're going to go into verse 2. And verse 2 is the same chord progression as verse 1, so no changes there. After verse 2, we're going to go straight into the chorus again, but that's the same chord progression as the first chorus, so no changes there. After the second chorus, they go back into a third verse and then another chorus, but those are the same chord progressions as before. So towards the end of the song, after the chorus, they go into a sort of a spontaneous moment, and that's split up into two different parts. I'll show you the first part first, and then I'll show you the second part. For the first part of the spontaneous moment, we're actually just going to stay on the G chord for a little bit. So that first part of the spontaneous moment will sound something like this. The enemy thought he had me, but Jesus said you're mine. The enemy thought he had me, but Jesus said you're mine. And so for the second part of the spontaneous moment, we're going to add some more chords to that. So this is the following chord progression for that part. It's going to be a G chord. E minor, C, then G, E minor, and D. So that second part of the spontaneous moment will sound something like this. The enemy thought he had me, but Jesus said, So after the spontaneous moment, Bethel goes into another chorus after that, but that's the same chord progression as before that I taught you, so no changes there. And so to ultimately conclude the song, we can go ahead and play a G chord. And that's pretty much how we can play Back to Life by Bethel Music.